Okay, I can see it. Okay, okay. Yeah, are you are able to see my screen? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, so today we are um we are we are looking at um uh lecture 4. And this lecture 4 we are trying to um begin looking at um uh charts how to work with yeah. uh with, with with charts in excel okay so uh basically mm -hmm. uh when you talk about charts okay mm -hmm. when you talk about charts uh excel provides a variety of those uh, types of charts we are going to explore them that can uh, uh that you can choose from okay whenever you are trying uh, you are trying to deal with different kinds of data sets that you are trying to uh uh, work with okay so excel offers a, a, a pie representation you see you can present your work in your pie chart you can also use a line a, a line a line chart you can use a bar chart you can use a column etc etc so there are different kinds of uh, uh of of charts that you are going to be availed with okay so uh, first and foremost, I'll go it in a theoretical manner, and then we are going to go again step by step, looking at how each. Hello, hello. I lost you. You are back now. Yes, 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 yes. I I got surprised. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You everything went like uh, almost like I couldn't see anything from your end. Okay, uh, but are you able to see my screen? Uh, I. On your screen right now, there's only your profile picture there. Okay, okay. There's only my profile pic, meaning to say I need to... Uh, uh, okay. Let me reshare the, the, the screen. Are you able to see my screen now? It's loading. Okay, yes, it's back. Okay. It's back now, yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. So, I was trying to say, uh, I'll go through uh, each, each type of uh, chat that uh, we are going to discuss today so that uh, you look at it in a theoretical point of view and then also how to also quickly just look at how you can generate a a, a, a chat along those those lines. Oh. Okay. Yes. So so the first type of chart that we are going to look at is a um, is a column column chart. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. this type of chart, just from the name itself, you can see that it has a specific column. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, this is where the name comes from, where it has got different columns uh, that shows to say, okay, this is uh, what the graph is talking about, okay? And then it, it, yeah. it depends with how you want to customize your graph. You can put your, your figures there, okay? On the y-axis, you can also put the particular names that you are trying to refer to on the y-axis at that particular point. So it depends with how you want your, your graph to be generated. So this is the first step yeah. that we're going to look at. It's a, um, it's a, uh, it's a column chart, okay? Uh, which uses uh, vertical bars to, to, to represent data. The next uh, type of uh, chart that we're going to look at is uh, the, uh, the line charts. Are we together? Yes, please. Yeah, let's go. Okay. okay, okay. So the line chart is also ideal to show trends. Okay, when you want to show the trends, mm -hmm. of, uh, different kinds of things that we are talking about. Maybe the the drop in something could be shown. Okay, like these lines, and then maybe the gain. Mm -hmm. see, like those gains that you normally have. Maybe production has gone up. You see that, and then um, uh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. depending on what you are trying to, what variables that you are going to, you are trying to uh, look at. Okay, so like for instance, this table, this chart is trying to show us the uh, product trends by month. 
Okay. So you look at maybe oh, yeah. January uh, for this particular product. You see, as you can as as can be seen, these are various products that uh, that uh, this this uh, graph is trying to uh, to explain. We have got uh, the tablets. We have got uh, laptops. We also have the desktop. So each particular line shows to say, okay, this is like this. So from this point, you can see that from January to June, there has been uh, product trends. You know, uh, there's an increase in tablets. Okay, and then the yeah. drastic drop when where where you look at the the the, the desktop. You see that. They are, it's like they are, they, are, they are running out according to this graph that we are able, we are able to see. And then the, the laptops as well, they are steady, okay? They are just steady, we can say so. They are just steady. They are neither high or neither low, but they are somewhere in between. There's a, there was a drop here, and then there was an up gain there, and then there was an again. Again, it dropped, and then it gained a little bit like that. So. A line is just trying to identify, to tell you to say, okay, the trend has been like this. You see that? So mm -hmm. that, is yeah. what, that is what you can attain from the line. And then we have a pie chart. A pie chart is one of the most common uh, ways of trying to display data. Okay, You can display data in various ways, but I would say... Um, from time in memorial, you know, a pie chart, you know, people teach it in primary schools, you see, they teach it in yeah. high schools, they teach it at almost different levels of, of learning, okay. So, a pie chart will compare portions, proportions, okay, this to this, this to this. If you look at the revenue, okay, for this particular one, it is trying to look at different kind, different people, um, of course, those names are uh, names that are not very familiar. They are, uh, I should think, Indian names. Okay, so they are different people. So with different proportions in terms of uh, how much they gain. Okay, so starting with the highest, uh, which is four hundred and eighty-six. I don't know whether this is rupees. Or maybe dollars, or I don't know which currency that this particular uh, uh, pie is trying to display. But I would assume, uh, since the, this chart is having its origin from the Indian perspective, so you would say, okay, these are rupees. Okay, so there yeah. are different uh, figures there. There are also different figures there. There are also different. There's another figure there. There's another figure there. There's another figure here. So it is just trying to indicate to you to say there are different kinds of proportions that you would attain when you are trying to uh, prepare a pie chart. Okay, are we together there? Hello? Yes, we're together. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. And then th there's also a, what is known as a bar chart. Okay, so now uh, bar chart works just the same as a column chart. Okay, but uh, uh, they use horizontal bars instead of vertical bars. Okay, okay. They use horizontal bars instead of vertical bars. You need to say vertically, normally they are standing on their own. Okay, but there's there's some inclination when you're talking about horizontal, inclined to an axis. Okay, we are going to look at different kinds of how you would also display your bar charts. Okay, you can also display them. Uh, uh, horizontally or, or vertically, okay, depending on how you, you would want to also to, 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 to look at things. Okay? So um, the bar chart, predominantly, we are looking at bar charts that use horizontal bar instead of uh, the vertical ones. Okay? So we have got this bar here and another bar here, okay? another bar here, and another bar here, okay? And another bar here again, and another bar here, okay? So there are different kinds of bars that uh, I, I, I trying to display, but uh, in the way they appear, they appear in almost the same as also the column charts. You see that? Are we together? Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. So there, there's also another type of, of a chart that is also 
um, very, very common, and that's the area, area chart, okay? The area chart, okay? These area charts are similar to line charts, except um, that the areas under the lines are filled up, you see? If you look at um, uh, the line charts, the line charts uh, that we, we looked at earlier on, it was just displaying lines, okay? Just lines like that, okay? But now, when you look at uh, this particular uh, area chart, the area chart is able to nicely uh, show you to say it is also taking into consideration the areas underneath. You see that? Okay? Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's this line on top here. Okay? There's this line on top. Okay? And then there's also, we would say, there's a line there. Again, another line, line two. And then another line, line three. And then another line, line four. You see that? And then there's also this mm -hmm. line. Of course, here, it seems it, it comes out to be so faded but we could put another line, it's line five, down there, okay? So there are different kinds of lines there. So all these lines, okay, they are able to make sure to say um, they, they have uh, um, the surface down there. You see that? This surface down there also shows to say, okay, this particular, um, Mm, this particular area is not just an, a, a line per se, but there's this line that shows to say, hello? Hello. Yes, uh, it seems I, I, I'd lost you again. Yeah, I had lost you too. We went back to, to the profile. Okay. okay. <laughs> so now I can see it's back. Uh, so the, you're back. Okay. So I was trying to say, the, the lines are just trying to show us to say there are distinctions, but it is also taking into consideration to show you to say there's a, the area underneath that particular. So the data sets that we are trying to look at is also trying to uh, help us to say, okay, there's this uh, that it is taking into account. Okay. Then last yeah. but not the least, we have what is known as um, also um the surface area the surface charts okay okay so now the the, okay. the, the, the the surface charts mostly allows you to display data in a three dimensional okay uh landscape okay they allow you to show you a a specific data set in a three dimensional uh, perspective okay so so you have seen that you are able to see that this this is like a hill. You see that? Okay. There's a ground level here. Okay. Are we together? <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes. Yes. Hello. We're together. Okay. Yeah. So I was saying to say, it is trying to show you a three-dimensional kind of graph. Okay. We have um, a graph that is shows a three-dimensional kind of situation there, okay? So these are the types of uh, charts that we would look at, okay? So now, um, maybe let's look at the, some of the steps that we would use to achieve uh, these uh, graphs when you're trying to prepare, okay? So to insert a chart, number one, okay? For you, when you are trying to maybe mm -hmm. set a chart, okay, number one, you select the cells that you, are, you want to, 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 to work with, okay, including the columns and the title okay. and the rows, okay. So you select your, your columns. And then from, uh, I will do a, a practical so that you, you look at it. So number two is that from the table, uh, from the insert tab, uh, click the desired uh, 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 chart that you want, and then choose the desired uh, uh, chart type, okay? 
from the drop down menu and then uh -huh. select that particular chart. Now, uh, I think we could go quickly go um, uh, to the charts so that uh, we, we, we look at them. Okay, so the first situation that mm -hmm. maybe we, we could look at. Um, um, uh, is a bar chart. I think let, let, let's uh, let's look at a, a column chart, which is just also in a similar way and, uh, to a, a bar chart. For instance, you have got these grades, eh? okay? And then uh, mm -hmm. these grades, you, you want to uh, maybe um, compute them so that you you show them in a in a in a column chart, okay? Okay. So you would say, okay, mm -hmm. uh, students, okay, okay, and then maybe a course such as um, computer studies, mm -hmm. okay. I would say CS, okay, and then mm -hmm. maybe um, history, okay, okay, yeah, okay. So now. Um, you are trying to, you have maybe uh, students, maybe Titus, uh, maybe Tom, okay? And then maybe Jack, okay? And then you have got maybe Jane, okay? And then you have got uh, Mary, okay? And then you have mm -hmm. got maybe Steve, okay? Okay, and then maybe they, 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 they got corresponding uh, marks. Are we together? Are you able to see what I'm typing? Yes, I am. I'm following very well. Okay, thank you very much. So maybe Tom in, uh, um, in computer studies, maybe he, um, he got um, um, maybe he got something like uh, uh, 56, okay? And then Jack got 67, okay? And then maybe um, Jen uh, got 87, okay? okay? Mary also got a 45. And then maybe Steve was very much unlucky, he got 39%, okay? So maybe in history, it was a different scenario again, maybe similar to this one, maybe um, this person got, gets a 56, okay? And then maybe um, mm -hmm. um, um, we also have, um, um, we also have, uh, um, maybe he gets a sixty percent, okay, and then maybe he gets a sixty one percent, okay. Then maybe Mary comes, shoots up high, and he gets maybe uh, 83, okay? Maybe Steve, again, this time around is the highest, he gets 88, okay? So, um, okay, maybe we say this is, um, okay, this is uh, um, uh, second year results. Okay. Okay, second year mm -hmm. results. Okay, second year results. Okay, so, um, mm, you put nicely the borders there, thick borders, okay, and then also put it like that. So, now uh, you want to um, put this information on a chart all together okay so uh for instance i want to put a column chart let me just select maybe computer studies and put a column chart okay so i'll go in it. hello hello i'll, I'll wait hello. Uh, yeah may i take you back a little okay please go ahead yeah so um for example when after this so how do you do the borders again just quickly it's, it's yeah Okay, okay. Let like me, quick, the way you did it, yeah. Okay, let me just go back. Okay, so I want to put, so I'll select the entire thing, right? 
the entire uh -huh. uh, and then i'll go on home this home tab you see that yeah and then there's yeah. this there's this icon here under font you've seen it yes okay so once i click this uh, side and then it brings me all uh -huh. the types of borders that i want it's if it's bottom, okay. if it's whatever and then here i selected the thick so it gave me this the thick thing. outside border yes and then i still more want to use it to use um uh, um I still want to do something with the same information. So uh -huh. I'll, I'll click it, select it, and then I want to put now borders everywhere. Okay. So it has given me okay. borders everywhere. Okay. So uh -huh. I changed the one that was had just only a thicket, but I put the one that is a border everywhere. So if I want to, okay. are we together? very very much okay okay thank you so suppose i want to put this information this uh, table um present it uh, now uh, on a on a bar chart or column chart i'll come there okay and then i'll click on this one okay you see here yeah, this is where i'll get all the charts okay and then if i want to customize whatever i want i can click here and set it as a default from here and uh, choose whatever I want. Are we together? I lost you a little bit. Okay. If you could just where, where? go back. I think my, my, my internet is back. So where do you go to get the, the charts? For example, okay. on insert? Yes, I go on insert. Uh-huh. Yes, I go on insert, and then after I go on insert, and then I go and choose. I can either choose any of these ones, okay? Okay? Or okay. I can come there and come and choose what I want. Either I want a, the line one, either I want a pie chart, I want a bar chart, I want an area, I want a scatter, I want a stock. I want a surface, I want a darkness, I want a bubble, radar, depending on what kind of presentation that I want to have and what I want to achieve. Okay. Um, Are we together? Um, okay. I don't know. I'm trying to follow the Excel thing on the laptop. Or on your laptop. So okay. just just for me to okay, I can do this. Okay. Okay, are we together? Let's later. Pardon? Let's just proceed. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yes, we are. Okay, uh, you are, it's, it's okay, you can ask any question, you can ask so that maybe I clarify where uh, you're not clear. No, I, I, I don't, I, it's, I think it's something to do with my, my settings or my laptop thing. I, I don't seem to find the, the place where there are those charts, like, okay, okay. like what I can see on this. Oh, screen. like what you can see, okay. Okay, if you have, uh, like he like this one but you have columns like this right not so yep there's somewhere where it's, um, because when you yeah yes when, when you click column on this arrow that is down here it gives you these ones uh -huh. yes as they come okay, here you can see. click down here and say all oh, charts and then it will bring you something like that Okay. Uh, has it has it brought you? <laughs> uh, let's just progress. I think it's bringing something else. I think it's the. I will have to look at it later. Um, uh -huh. it, there's. I can see charts, and uh, uh -huh. it has. 
There's all these combo charts, pivot chart. Uh, I think it's a bit different from what I can, from what yours bring. But anyway, let, let me continue to follow and then I can look through the other laptop, not this one. Maybe, maybe I don't know what this, this version is. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, are, are, are we okay up to this part? Hi. Hello? Yeah, we are fine. We are very fine. Hello? Hello, are you able to get me? Yes, I am. Okay. So, I said, once I select my work like that, you see that? Mm -hmm. Once I select my yes. work like that, and then um, I, uh, I select it and then I go on insert and then I want to choose the column. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are different kinds of column. There are these that are two dimensional. And then there are also these that mm -hmm. are three-dimensional, okay? And then we have got mm -hmm. cones, we have got uh, pyramids, we have got different kinds. It depends with what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. yes. okay, for instance, I want, yeah, to, yeah. I want to have something like this, okay? Something like that, okay? So for Jack, okay, this is how mm -hmm. the results are displayed, okay? This is how they did it. Okay. Yes. So um, there's the philosophy, computer studies is in blue, and then there's also uh, history that is in that. Okay, for instance, I just want to deal with one subject. Okay, let mm -hmm. me deal with just maybe one subject so that we move uh, step by step. Okay, so I'll say, for instance, I'm dealing with uh, computer studies, and then I go on insert, and then I go on column. You see that? And then I go and click on that particular chart. It is giving me um, yes. column charts that are related to, um, to what we were discussing earlier on. Okay, and then mm -hmm. I can um, I can also edit them as I wish. You see that? So I can say, okay, layout. How do I want my layout to be? Okay, how do I want my design to be? For instance, I want to put headers. I want to put all those definite definers. Okay, okay. So I can also change it. They will look at it the way it is coming out. You see that? Okay. And then uh -huh. I can also, depending on what, how I want it to be. So these are the three columns that will be extended. That will show you how you would want to, to make it more, a little bit more colorful. You see that? So this, mm -hmm. if you look at this chart, when, he, when before you, you insert, these tabs, these tabs only end up to only view, but the moment you insert a, a column, it is now extended. You've seen that it, there are two, three more uh, tabs that are coming, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, there's the layout, there's the format, okay? So it depends on what, what you want, to, how you want it to appear. So you want to beautify okay. your work, you want to do anything, so you come there and also you can be, uh, choose it in any way that you look at the way it looks. Okay? Are we together? Are we together? <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. Is there any part where you have remained behind? Mm, no, I'm fine, sir. You are fine? Yes, please. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I think we can proceed if at all you are okay with, with what, what, what is there. 
Okay, so uh, you can beautify your 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 chart depending on how you would want to uh, to do it. Okay, okay. So the next that mm -hmm. we're going to uh, look at. Okay, and let me just uh, leave this one. Okay, and then maybe I'll do again insert another type of chart because we had also looked at the column. We had also looked at the bar. Are we together? So for instance, I want to yes. look at the bar, okay? Okay. Remember, even the description of the bar was different from that, right? Okay, we have got also different kinds of bar charts, okay? If I want to have the bar chart, okay, I can also uh, put a bar chart like that, okay? This is how a bar chart will, will look like, okay? It has got mm -hmm. different yeah. kinds of bars, okay, and grades, depending on how you would also want it eh, to appear. So we can also try to, to change the design. Maybe put it like this. You see that? Okay. And maybe try to change the layout, okay, or the format, okay. Depending on how, what we want to 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 obtain you see that okay so it is up to you the person that is grafting uh, uh, a particular chart and what you want to achieve so you are the one that is totally in charge of what you want to achieve on a particular time okay are we together are we together Hello. Yes, I was asking. Hello. Are we together? Yes, I'm sir. Okay. Okay. So um, I was trying to uh, try. I was trying to um, to to to. I was trying to uh, get back so that I can show. Uh, I can look at the other types of, okay. So for instance, if at all you want to, um, you want to achieve uh, uh, a pie chart and the line, are we together? A pie chart and mm -hmm. the line. So you go back again, okay. You go back to, uh, to your graph. Okay, so you are trying to insert. Um, you saw since this is already selected, uh, I'll just say to say, okay, this is already selected, and then you go on insert. Maybe you want to insert a line out together. Okay, now mm -hmm. a line would would look at, would be more better if at all you have more than one variable because we're looking at just one var two variables that was. Uh, if at all you've got maybe computer studies, you're trying to compare, okay, two subjects of different mm -hmm. uh, students. So you can say, okay, fine. Look at the performance of computer studies and also look at the performance of among students. Okay, that? so if you look mm -hmm. at this, Tom had a low grade in computer studies and then, so if you compare the two, you see to say that, oh, okay, this one had the, this mark, had the lower mark, this one had the higher mark in this particular subject, depending on what you want to achieve. You see that? All together? Yes, sir. Yes. So, uh, Elaine is just trying to show you the trains, okay? The trains, okay, of how different data sets is being uh, displayed, okay? So this is also an example of a line chart, okay? Okay? For instance, if at all we are trying to um, uh, obtain a pie chart, okay? So you are trying mm -hmm. to uh, get 
the scores of a pie chart, for instance, in computer studies, okay? In computer studies, you are trying to get the, the way. So you come there, yeah, okay? Here on insert, and then yes, go sir. on pie chart, okay? And then you can also uh -huh. decide to put maybe, I want to have, uh, uh, uh the actual figures inside you can decide to say okay fine add labels okay the labels are added mm -hmm. to say okay maybe this particular one got 39 uh, this particular one got, got 36 so the labels have been added okay you can uh -huh. yes, yes you can decide even to form uh, format the data labels okay depending on how you mm -hmm. want to format them here. So the formatting information is here. You can format the number, you can fill, you board the borders, the border style, different kinds of things that you would work with on your, on your, on your data set, okay? okay? So this is also a way in which to display your data. Are we together? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, are there any questions apart from this one? Um, so far, I'm following. Okay. So far, so good. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, the other type of uh, graph that we'd look at is the how can we. Um, display maybe um in any an area okay okay so i would say maybe suppose i want to display an area for or uh for um for the two results okay you've seen that history here this is history and this is also mm -hmm. computer study Okay. So this history, you see there's some relation of yes, some sort uh, with the history and um, um, uh, with the history and also um, he, I mean there's some comp uh, similarities between history uh, between the, um, an area chart and the, the, the line chart. Remember to say the line chart only had mm -hmm. lines on top, right? But now the area chart mm -hmm. takes into consideration that the area underneath is also taken into consideration. You see that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the beauty yes. about this particular um, uh, type of uh, area. Okay. So you can also decide to to, 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 to edit in, in any way that you would want to um, you would want to to do it okay so you can also few no few uh, all, all these things can, can be can be can be done you see just by click right clicking and then maybe format the plot area you see that and you can decide also to start now uh, editing further than what you are trying to Okay, you can also come there and even put the layout according to how you would want it uh, to, 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 to be, okay? For instance, this one says, you remove the primary uh, definitive uh, access there, okay? So depending on what you want to achieve there, you go on the layout and everything, you can also do like, like that. And then you can also have different kinds of uh, 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 formats that you would also want to indicate there so that you, you just beautify your, your graph as you are trying to present it. Are we together? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so the next type of graph, the last but not the least that I wanted to look at, though it's, itself it's a little bit, a little bit more complicated, more complex, Okay, it's the aspect of um, the surface area. 
out together. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For instance, in a surface area, if I wanted to, okay, I wanted to achieve, um, uh, I wanted to, um, you know, you remember very well when we were, um, um, last time when we were discussing, we discussed the ex exponents, we discussed the multiplication, okay? So if I want to insert mm -hmm. an equation, okay? okay? For instance, this equation is a three-dimensional equation, okay? And then this equation is five, okay? Okay, 5x to the power 2, okay, 5x to the power 2, okay, and then minus 4, um, minus 4, okay, and then I want to put a superscript, so minus 4, uh, uh, y okay to the power four okay i want to achieve mm -hmm. i want to uh, create a table that is going to um uh, that is going to give us this one and then maybe on the y axis it is minus two Okay, and then it is uh, greater, less than, or equal to, okay, x, okay, less than, or equal to, okay, maybe two, okay. This is the x-axis, and maybe, okay, 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 okay. okay. So for instance, we have got um, uh, that equation, and then maybe we are trying to um, um, trying to make sure that we we put the x-axis, which is uh, in the range uh, x x-axis. Okay, okay. Maybe this axis will be in the range of, uh, and then we've got the Z, okay? Okay. And then we've got the Y, okay? The Y axis, okay? Mm -hmm. So our X axis will be going this direction, okay? So we have minus one, okay? And then minus uh, 1.5, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm trying to fill this. So I'll drag from this up until I reach two. Okay. And there's an auto auto increment there. Okay. And then here there's also minus two. Okay. Minus one point five. Okay. Okay. So again there. I'm trying to fill there and bring it there. Okay, you've seen that all these are corresponding values. Oh yes. So, for instance, mm -hmm. I say equals. Okay, okay, equals. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get uh, this particular situation that I have in this equation. So I'll say, okay, fine. Equals. Um. Um. Five. Okay, multiply by 
okay? Multiply by the x value there, okay? And then, and then this x value to the power two, okay? Minus, okay? And then four, okay? Okay, and then mm -hmm. I multiply this four by, what's the, is this particular, uh, and then I say is that, is, is that particular uh, figure. And then I say this one to the power what? This is raised to the power four. You see that? So I mm -hmm. say the power four, and then it gives me that answer. You've seen that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now, um, if I drag it like that, okay? it will start giving me numbers that will not be able to, will be, will be very, if you look at this formula, this formula is trying to refer to say D16, okay? D16, which is D16, this one, okay? Now, we are, not, we are not replicating the formula like that, but we are going to use an absolute, okay? So, an absolute meaning to say I'll put a dollar sign there, okay? Meaning to say I just want this, okay, this number. And then mm -hmm. again, I just want this row, this row here. So, I'll put a dollar sign there. So, that will be the absolute that I'll, I'll put there. So, once I put there and drag up to the bottom, you see that those values have have come out like that, you see? So if you look at this formula, it has maintained, you say, okay, this, I've maintained this, okay? I've maintained, I've maintained this particular uh, column, you see that? I've maintained this particular mm -hmm. column and I've maintained this one, okay? So for instance, um, this is what we have. So I would also get this to the other side, Again, it will give me this generated, uh, those generated numbers. Again, those generated. So if I want up to there, it can also give me that particular data set. Are you together? Excellent. Yes, I am. Okay. So, so if I want to label this particular one as my um, x axis, I will do. Uh, label it like that and then I would also label that one as my maybe uh, y-axis okay and then if I want this particular region that I want to make sure to say it's, um, it's, it's also um, labeled nicely like that see that so I would also create a three-dimensional uh, kind of graph. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would say, okay, fine. Let me go on insert. And then I'm trying to get uh, an area, surface area. You see? So this is how my surface area will, will look like. Wow. That's it. Of course, uh, these are things that normally are not normally done in, in, in everyday uh, situation. But for out of curiosity, if someone wants to to go and present it, uh, they are data in a, in a surface area kind of which shows the area. Okay, for instance, you are trying to look at uh, the the surface area of of something, a figure, a cone. You see that different given different dimensions that are, are given you do you'd be able to achieve that but it's no, normally in our day every day to day life these these are things that are done maybe at people that would want to use different kinds of data sets maybe in construction uh, data set, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah yeah different kinds of data we wouldn't uh, 
uh, use this one for our immediate use. Maybe we want to show um, uh, the PP's achievement and stuff like that. But out of curiosity, people can achieve that. But anyway, if I don't want to use this kind of approach, you would also want to go and explore further so that you can be able. Unless there are any other questions. No, I think today what I'll do is I'll just quickly revisit this and, and uh, do my revision to see how I can navigate through it. And if I have questions, then I'll get back to you.